Boss top. Okay. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss top. Yeah. We gonna do it how you want. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, man. I'm down here rocking with the best of them, man. Hanging with the rest of them, man. Hey, man, we got two very, very special guests in here. One of them don't need no introduction. He's a repeat guy. He been in, he been frequent in the show. Anytime I pull these mics out, man, he got to show up, man. <laughs> Black cars in the building, man. Yes, sir. Black, and it's nine six worldwide. Yeah, yeah. Worldwide. Yeah, man. Everything worldwide. You stand on that? I stand on that. Ooh, ooh, that's Everything official, nine. like a rivalry with a whistle, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, what's going on, man? Man, welcome. Welcome. First off, welcome back to Houston, man. Thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? I came down here, I saw, man, and you know what I'm saying? I can't never stop coming. I've been coming down here for a long time, though. Right. Like, since I was, a, I'm a Texas cat. Yeah. So my auntie, she over there off of Lee, where she was, she passed away, but Lee Whitfield and all that, that's where she was at. So I would come up here, it's like 11, 12, fight at the skating ring with my cousins. Yeah. Yeah, we go fight some niggas at the skating ring. <laughs> Them niggas fight every day. They twin brothers, and we all the same name. We all the same age with the same name. That's yeah, crazy, right? right? Yeah. And, yeah. And my, Mike, which Mike? We were named after my dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, my cousin, he's still he's still out here a while and out. He ain't gonna never stop. Yeah. And we fifty something now, so I'm old. You know what I'm saying? You still going to the skating ring, knocking the boys out? Nah, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so man, you gotta go to the ice skating ring, nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not rolling. <wrong. laughs> so man, how you been, man? man life's great. It's uh, it's only getting greater. Man, you know, just uh, the music, the sound down here, and you being young as you, you're a young buck compared to me. Understood. So I just want to know, like, the new sound, the new wave of how the music's going. You know, it was banging screw. It was uh, all type of different music going on. Then you see people like B King, DJ Chose, yeah. uh, uh, what's that other boy, Travis Scott. Okay. You know, you hear all these different types of music coming out, and then you, you out. Uh, what do you think about the other rappers back in the day when we used to get out? Man, you know, back I in say the day. we, right? <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, you know, y'all y'all created the foundation. Everybody created the foundation. Screw the screw the click rap a lot. Everybody created the foundation. And at this point, thanks to brothers like you and Donnie. Y'all, y'all giving the platforms for us to understand what was really going on, so where we can build from that. So a lot of the new cats for the show, we make a lot of good hustle music. Yeah. That's where we at now, especially like in my account, we do. We make a lot of good come up hustle music. Yeah, you know? I, I, I like it. I like it. I, I really, Black Card, what you think about it, man? You've been able to transition. You're very transparent when it comes down to the music. Like you have to be in order to stay in the game. Yeah. Well, you just got to be able to, to keep up, you know what I'm saying? But one thing I always say, jamming is jamming. If it jammed at one point in time, it's going to continue to jam. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's all. That's all. And everybody's in their own lane. So, you know, you can't really like, uh, judge one Houston artist based on another Houston artist because we don't have the same sound as uh, as each other at all anymore. It's definitely different. Everybody's real diverse, um, but the right artists do the right things. You know, what I'm saying they keep it. They keep the culture in it. Yeah, yeah culture, I think the most important thing is to keep that culture in it. The culture is important. Yeah, yeah, the culture is very important, man. Like I said, I think that's the only reason. Like we really, when we got into this, it was more like, man, you know. For me, it was like painting a picture. Mm -hmm. It was like, I don't want to just, see, I was seeing all the narratives, right? You look at what you see on the internet, right? Yeah. My kids in the room with these phones, right? And a lot of times I'm like, damn, they looking at this, they doing that. And, and, and you know, think about all the people that really, you, you know, you affect on this thing. So if you put the right platform together with the right conversation, yeah. you can inject into what's being done and said on the internet. Sure. So I was more on that. And then I thought about my parents and them not being here no more and not having nothing to show what their legacy was built on. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get a boss talk 101. Respect. I'm being real. Not respect. Because they can look back. My grandkids, grandkids can look back and see Black Card on here rocking with me. Yeah. I just feel like that's going to be something to do later on in life. No, for sure. Like, I, I, I remember being around, like, when Don Tolliver, you know, first started yeah. coming out, T.C. Yeah. Korean, um, a lot of the other artists, they all came out uh, around the same time just building their brand. And I was a part, I used to have a, like, uh, a podcast to a certain extent. Okay. My whole thing was, um, you know, bringing light to what we had going on. Okay. Um, you know, it, it was always the thing that Houston didn't support each other at some point. You know, every city kind of got that thing. Oh, we don't support each other. But from that time period then to where we at now, one, Don Tolliver's doing great. Tisa's doing great. A lot of people are doing great. But we all, we, we've come together a little bit more. 
yeah, uh, in the home. city. So you feel like, do you feel like you accomplished what you was trying to accomplish within your podcast? Over, overall, I stopped the podcast kind of early. I was also like, you know, doing a lot of things in the city, like, you know, photography, videography. I was just hustling, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just building, you know, building my wave and building my name, my legacy. Oh, you in did the city. a little I did. I did. I've touched, I've done so everything. So you see my setup. You, is, I'm yeah. serious about yeah. it. You look good. You look okay, good. I didn't you know, know what I was dealing with. I'm hey. in the presence of a hey. player. Hey. You, you know what I'm I'm a real player of the game, now for sure. Like, I really, I really, you know, did every step necessary. To meet the people I need to meet, and that's that's what my my business side of this music industry is. You know, what I'm saying even before I did, chose to be a rapper, yeah, yeah. I was always so, in the streets. Let's somehow. talk about this. So you chose to be a rapper. You know what I mean? You out here, you in Houston, man. Yeah, for I sure. I mean, it's my city. Hey, the competition is fierce, whether you want to believe it or not. It's friendly. Yeah, it's cool. I don't really do. But too I'm much just competing. telling you, it's it's going down. So if you get on, don't you ever tell me nothing like that. If you get on a track with somebody, you I, telling me. Nah, I'm coming down for sure. <laughs> nah, for real, I'm coming down for sure. But I'm coming down my way. I Black ain't. card, he tried to give me. He know damn well. You get on that mic. Guys, always, like you said, it's friendly. Something but I ain't. else come over you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm here to represent, you know what I'm saying, for my city and what I got going on, what the Buy Money Camp got going on. That's so, all. That's, that's all. That's what I'm going to do every time I show up. I, I, I think as long as whatever people bring to the table is, is, is pure, you know what I'm saying, it really ain't no competition. You know what I'm saying? You're right. You're right. But then, nigga, we'll be back in the, like, I, I think back on Jay and Eminem on that song. He's like, man, Eminem killed Jay. You know, they, or, or, or man, uh, uh, man, you know, out of, out of the ghetto boys, right. man, Scarface was the hardest one. I, 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 Willie D was the hardest one. Nah, okay. Yeah. So, so, Renegade, Jay-Z, Eminem, what's your take? Man, I'm going to always go with Jay. I'm not, I'm not, I, I mean, I'm going to go give, with Jay. I'm going to give all respects to him. Why? But I'm, I'm, I'm going with definitely him. Jamming, Jay. I'm, I'm going with I knew y'all was going to do that. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Not lyrically, but flow. On that song, flow-wise, I give it to Eminem. And I give it to him for that one. That's the I flow. Mean, y'all not y'all agree on that. Not necessarily the lyrics, and but the flow. The flow. And Jay was saying some shit too, but as far as what I remember in yeah. the flow, Eminem. It's hard to deal with Eminem because, you know, and I'm going to say this, it's hard to even have that conversation because it's bias. I'm going to be real with you. Uh-huh. When it come down to M, he always going to win because he got a whole bunch more coming at him when it come down to what he do. Yeah. He, everybody going to show love when it come down to his project. Everybody. But when it come down to us, you know, it's a little different. That's all I'm saying. But he no, no, do, but, he jamming, but, but you he gotta, jamming. But you gotta understand this. Eminem, where he came from, and what he was doing at the time is, he was speaking out, saying all of the crazy stuff, not not really being afraid to say, just like the yeah. hook say on Renegade, never been afraid to say. Yeah. So that's Jay-Z bringing Eminem into his own World that he's already yeah, in. That's not so. Jay. That's not Jay Z's world. And for me, bro, that's me just just what I remember. Like when you asked me about this specific song, I remember M. That's like the only. You don't remember Jay? I, that's the first thing that go in my head. Renegade. Like I, I, that's the only thing that. Yeah, because the head. way his tonality was like, and he, all he that. On it, like you know, you know he's yeah, on. Yeah, you, you can know tell Jay kind of here. He just his Jay more of a player on the song. Yeah, for sure. He was just more player. And and you gotta realize, I believe M was M was hungry at the time too, a little exactly. more hungry because he was more newer than mm-hmm. Jay. Jay had already been in the game for a while, exactly. So I think he was more hungry, and, and that, you could hear it in them lyrics. And that's a good example of the friendly competition situation. You know what I'm saying? Like if I come in the studio, I'm definitely coming down. <laughs> like, go. I got I got to let, let you know a little See, bit. I brought the tiger out of him, that line, but he's like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get down. I'm say something for you. So so if, <laughs> so who, like who would you like to work with? Like in the future. In the future, um, shoot. When it comes to the city, if that's what we asking for, in the city, for, in, for the sure, city yes. in the city, for sure. Uh, I would love to work with Propane. Really? Yeah, right. Yeah, for you sure. You were just here, right? Since right before you I got here. I love to work with Propane. I, I would want to work with a uh, young Deji. What do you he see in Propane? Southwest. What do you see? Propane. I just like his flow. You know, it's like it's natural. It's genuine. You know what I'm saying? Like it's him. Like that's the type of people I like to work with. I don't like. Gimmick rappers. Okay, who, who? And another thing I don't like, I don't like angry, sad rappers. So I, I like rappers who are actually talking, you know what I'm saying, some real game. I agree with that. <laughs> I like rappers that's talking some real game. I've been waiting to say this. <laughs> I, 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 I know where this is going. Hey, hey, man, I don't do none of that angry, sad rap shit. None of it. I don't do none of it. But, that's not the energy I'm on. People are going through depression, that's, bro. I understand that. Everybody go through something. But so, that's not what I'm broadcasting to the world. I'm, my next project is called Greater Days. That's my mantra. That's how I step. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times you got to understand, man, uh, this is healing. 
during that time when people talk about this stuff. I understand. Right, somewhat, so somewhat. All right, so question. This is healing, right? Yeah. All right, so if your first project, if you want to be on sad nigga shit, right? Right. That's cool. Your first project, sad nigga shit. Hashtag now, sad nigga shit. When your, when your second project come and you ain't made no progress and you still sad, now what they got to do with your life and what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, show, show me some progress. Like, if you got 12 songs yeah. and all 12 sad the first project, the next song, at least, you know, give me a, like a six. Six sad. Make, make some progress, and you know is, what I'm saying? If you is. ain't making no progress in your, your theories and nothing no, like right. that, I, I'm, not, I'm not with it. I'm trying to grow. I with, feel you. I'm trying to grow with the artist. For sure. And, yeah. and then is, is your music your like therapy it. or something? Or is that, are we just sitting here listening to you cry to us? I'm not one of them guys. Don't cry to me. So, Don't do it. It, do, you would never do a song that's deep? I do deep songs. Okay, so. I do so a few deep songs, but I'm not, like I said, I'm a progressive person. I'm not about to sit here in the, in the dirt with you. And, and you know, so I'm not about to come from up here and come down. I'm not that guy. Black card, you done sit in. You done sit in a lot of those sessions where people be going through therapeutic moments. True, true. Therape therapeutic moments is is something different than being all the time sad. People fall in deep depression. When I when I interviewed Bobo, he was like, uh, he hadn't came out in a long time. And Steve Bilo, Steve Bilo, uh, was Pimp C protege. And came on no interview in years. I ain't heard B Lo name in a long time. He be with me now. That's wild. You didn't see his interview on my show? I no, I haven't. Woo, you gotta go I watch that one. I haven't heard that name in You gotta years. go watch that one. That wow. hey man, he cause it really did, you know, it it messed him up when Pimp died. Mm -hmm. So that's a, one of them stories where he just kind of didn't even mess with the music no more. He loved the music before that, but at that at that and even Bun B said it on Beehive. So it's like sometimes people get caught up in the, and, 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 and Hills wasn't displayed on music, of course. Right. He just kind of went to it went into a cave, you know right. what I mean, and just kind of backed off right. everything. So it, it does affect people, man. Mental illness is real, but I think not it, for sure. I, but I think people they they don't got to where they so it's a it's a thing where it's popular. But and, and and that's the problem is most people are doing it because it's popular. I also, popular, yeah. I also believe in speaking things into existence. You Boom. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if if you believe in speaking things to existence and monitoring the stuff that you put in your mind, I'm not about to sit around and listen to a bunch of sad stuff because then therefore I will end up sad. You know exactly. What I'm saying? No, I get and it. I'm not about to make sad music time and time again because I'm going to end up sad or I'm projecting to my listeners that I want them to be sad and I, or I want them to congregate and, and, and be attracted to me because of my sadness. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's that right there is mental in itself. No, that's real, man. And and you got to be careful because, it, like you said, it becomes a thing where it's just revolving over and over the and influence. over again. The influence is real. Like, the power of music, you know what I'm saying, it brings you in. You know what I'm saying? At that like, point, when, what you let in, sometimes you, you don't know that you need to let it out just as much. You know what I'm saying? No, you're right. I like, agree. Like, life or death in the tongue. That That's real. That's so real. Proverbs. But I'm going to be real with you, man. You're a young man. So with you being out here, you know what I'm saying, you seeing the way flow things is being done. What do you see, man, this year, man, is gonna be big for the for the music world? This year's I'm, gonna be great. Why what you got going? What's up? Let me in. You know, you young niggas know. I ain't gonna lie, my camp got something coming. Really? For sure. Uh invest in stocks. You got a project on the way, the investment. Yeah. He's been working hard on that one. That's coming. Um my project's on the way, Greater Days. Um Jigga Juice. Jigga Juice, he's also uh he's on Issa Ray's rap rapish. Yeah, if he's on our Wagwab dad. He got something on the way. We all, like the whole camp got something going on. The whole Man. city got something going on. You know, and I love that about down here. They had a, a, a whole. I seen a little parade. Of, I say little, but it was a, cars going through on swingers yeah, and all we, kind of they, stuff. They today. still come down, man. Man, Man that's yeah. crazy. You bro. know, you, you can only come up. Come down and come through. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I like that. You got like three that. options. You, know what you got to come up. They still come, come down, down and come through, through nigga. Yeah. That's real, man. That's hard, bro. Like, so, what? What do you ever get like, like in a place where the music you be like, man, I can't mess with it this month or two weeks? You or it's just always go, go, go for you. Do you have times no, I, when you want to pull up? I, I take, I take breaks. You I do? Take, I take breaks. I can't, I can't lie to you. I take breaks. Even recently. I've been in the gym. I just been in the gym. You've been in the you know gym. What I'm saying, and I ain't even really been focused on no music like that. Cause me, I have to be inspired. You know what I'm saying. That's what I was so, thinking. So I, I wait 
for 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 the clarity to be inspired, and then I start start moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then that's just how that's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes sometimes you could wait for that motivation. You know what I'm saying? And that clarity. And sometimes you have to work through it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm blessed enough to be able to wait. You know what I'm that's saying? That's hard, so, man. So <clears throat> when you look at the the music and the flow of things, and just getting back into it, what who are you seeing that 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 you like? That what's going on with them right now in the city? Oh, that's a hard question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you, you, you different. Cause I, I know I value your opinion. Well, it's a, it's a hard question because I am, I don't like a lot of stuff. Yeah, but you gotta like some black card. I don't, I don't. I don't Steve O like tripping there, ain't he, man? Come on, you gotta like something, man. I don't like a lot of stuff. Like we just had this conversation the other day, and I was telling him about stocks. I was like, I really mess with stocks, but that's my partner. Right. But he made good music. You know. Okay, what I'm that's good. But. But other than that, I like Doe Man. Okay. I, I was saying. ready to say Doe. I like Doe Man. He could rap. You know what I'm saying? He's standing for something. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm really just not not in tune with a lot of just movements. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of drill stuff going on, shoot them up, bang, bang, stuff like that. I ain't really into that because I'm, I'm getting older. You know but how saying? do you like, I mean, when you when you think about just the music, and, and I guess I can ask you, but like when you when you think about the music, and, and you can't answer this. Hey, uh, <laughs> man, you know, I, you I, know, I know my answer. answer. I ain't know. <laughs> he gave it to you. Hey, no, 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 you can't answer this. Sad no, because I'm going gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go straight back to this, <laughs> this place where he can relate. Like when you think about the music now, and, and and the influence of, the, of of social media and all that stuff, mm. what is what is the big difference? You know what I mean? Because you've seen it when it was you know pretty much a, a thing where you had to go out here and make it happen in a different way. So just what do you think about that, and what's um, the influence of it? Is it longevity in it? In what? In just the way that the music is being being imputed to us now. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's, no, very, so. it's very fast now, and social media is the reason you know what i'm saying it's a big part of the reason because back in the day not even back in the day back when ludicrous chicken and beer came out mm -hmm. an artist used to drop an album every two years that was the standard it's every two years mm -hmm. as myspace as the social media platforms start coming up then it started being every year you yeah know what i mean now artists have to drop so frequently because of the amount of um, things that are grabbing the audience's attention. You know what I'm saying? So imagine if you were only dropping once every two years, but you have all of this data from social media in between, you're going to get lost in the sauce when you try to redrop. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Unless yeah. you have an incredible marketing strategy or something like that to put you back on top of that because it's just, it's just too much information in between. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. so for me, the difference is what social media did was make people want music faster and people aren't really creating in a way uh, for longevity. They don't have that much time to create. You know what I'm saying? The best, like, the best advice that I could give any artist is that first project that you putting out, that first big project, put your everything into it because it ain't nothing going to be the same after that. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? No, I agree with that. Well, you, young boy. I got something for you. <laughs> Give it to me, man. Nah, I think I think it comes down to the purpose of the music. So, are you making music to be viral or for this moment, or are you trying to make timeless music? Are you trying to make hits? That was like my main thing when I got into music, like as a as a writer, because like I love I love writing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As a writer, I want to make hits. I want to I want to make something timeless. I want to make something that you know later on down the line people want to come back and listen to. You know what I'm saying? Like especially for like family or anybody. You know, let's say because I've lost some people. You know, when you have like partners you lost. And you can still hear their voice through some music. That's yeah. the type of shit I want to hear. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, are you, if you're making if your if your purpose is just for this moment, just for some shit to, to throw on the ground, I'm not on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to make good music. I can dig it. I can dig it. But uh, I'm 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 picking up what you're putting down. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I just want to. But the thing I, I I look at as well is when people drop projects now. Back in the day, it was a big budget for videos. Mm -hmm. But now everybody got DSLR, DSLR cameras, yeah. drones. They got all this new, newest technology that can make something look a certain way. Um, just, uh, I'm just going to ask you, like, how important is it for visuals to be on projects? And I, say out of, 10 out of 10 songs, how many videos would you think you should do? Out of 10, I'm going to ask you that. Out of 10 songs? Yeah, on a project. I would do six. I agree. 
I would do I'll six. probably do seven. But I will say that videos do not have the same impact that they did. That's because it's watered down like it's so many? No, because we don't have music television anymore. People aren't sitting in front of the TV watching music videos to come on. But and they're watching YouTube. I know, but it's not the same. So I used to get out, out of school and try to go watch 106 in Park to see these music videos. Yeah. Now, if they're... If they're accessible at all times like that, it's losing value. For sure, and that's, just, and that's just a that's just a quick swipe. Like the turnover value isn't really there. It's like like when you drop a video and you do all your promo. Yeah. For like upcoming artists, when mm -hmm. they do their promo on social media, like Instagram, the second third, the main all their main views is happening right there. It's not going to YouTube as much as you know that turnover going over there where they can make the money at, unless they got that Instagram platform with the promotion. And, and, and you lose you you're losing the anticipation. Yeah. When, yeah. We, when we had television. We still had that anticipation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to watch this video. We can't skip it. We have to watch it and see, oh, what's the next one? What is gonna be number one, number two, right. stuff like that. We had to we had to do that. Now with YouTube, we just going to the next one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that 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 waiting, that anticipation, anticipation. Is, is, is is gone when it comes to videos. You know what I mean? But yeah. videos are still important. For sure. But they're not as important as they were. That's why video budgets went down. And attention span is crazy nowadays. They, they have, ain't got it. They have visualizers now. They don't even have to have a whole video. They just need some motherfucking lights and some shit to look. That's cool. right. Mm -hmm. you know but what, what I mean? about what about the the world of blogging? The way that they the the the, the new the new the new kids on the block, the, the way they do it, they, they, get, they bring these projects out, they push them through somebody's Instagram or somebody's uh, a YouTube channel so that they can be seen. Mm -hmm. This is a thing, I'm telling you, because no, I don't do it, but I know certain guys pay money to get on these certain platforms to get that look. Right. How important is it to do that, or is it something that they should do in a different way? It's important as an artist to do it. What I feel like is important, or like people should really get back to, is like, Bloggers being like held responsible for what they for what they like uh, promoting. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, people be promoting some bullshit, and they be knowing it's some bullshit. They. Be, but why do you watch that? I don't. Cause see what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> like like you got choices, right? right. Like what do you, I, I, I I talked to a, a girl before, a couple of girls, and they be like, oh, then all, they, I, all niggas ain't no good. No, all niggas you talk to ain't no good. So oh, it's kind of sure. like Is what that? you decide to focus on. Yeah. Or, or what you decide to see. What you decide to see. Yeah. That's what. But like, so you gotta be the careful. Pages, these are the pages we follow, though. Like, because we know there can't be no good without no bad, right? Correct. That's right. So it, it depends on what you what you see. She just she just focusing, like you said, on on that. on that, and that's a problem. If if you get caught up in the wrong type of content that people are putting out, no, sure. so therefore, I get it. There is a bunch of crap out there. I choose not to watch it. For sure. But I know it's there. But it's like, man, I got to do something that's going to add value. But, but, but for me to answer your question about the promotion and stuff. You're correct. Promotion is good, all right? But every promotion doesn't need to be on every channel. You have to do things that line up with your brand. That makes all sense. All right? So Streamlining. If, 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 if I'm Rick Ross and I'm coming up Rick Ross and I'm boss this, I'm boss that, yeah, I might reach out to Boss Talk and say, hey, yeah. man, I'm the biggest boss. You got Boss Talk. Let me give you some money to do this. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm not about to go and align myself with uh, every Martha Stewart or yeah, something like right. that because the brands don't match. The that brand identity, my brand identity and your brand identity have to be in sync in order for it to look organic. I got it. But and, you. And for the right person to but, take but, it in. But you, being a younger brother, I mean, you know, do is this where our young people minds is at when they dropping this music? Man, they just putting it out anywhere, <laughs> any way they, any way we say. Yeah, like, let's throw it to this blog. Cool. Well, like they, get, they, oh, they only do it, it for a hundred. Cool. <laughs> they only do it for that. That's how the game go. There's no filter to it though. Like you know, I said, I would rather just like Steve O said. Like you know, you used to go to, you used to go home and wait to go see 106 in Park because you knew they're gonna put out some quality. You're like, oh, these are the top ten. Like if we filter it a certain type of way, like I know I can go to a blog like Cap Season and say, okay, he's putting out, he's promoting these type of artists. I know. What I'm going, what I'm, what I'm coming here to look for. But if he's or any other, uh, you know, blog is just throwing everything in one, I don't know what I'm. I'm following you because I, I, I respect your um, decision. You know what I'm saying? Like what you, what you choose to put out. At that point, I'm like, okay, 
what we doing here? I, inter- I interview some people because they really do it. Chaps, they're hide. You know that's that Texas talk right there for yeah. Them. It makes them it ticks them off because they feel like they wanted to do a program or something on on YouTube to say we fact checking, we fact checking everything that came out this week because there's so much mess out there. You got to fact check some of this stuff. I don't, yeah. I, 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 I don't even think it's about fact checking when it comes to strictly the music. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, just yeah, think yeah. it's about. I just think it's a lot of people that aren't that good. That real thing is the music fluffed up like you know it is somewhat, but is it more fluffed than what it used to be? The stories is being I'm told. I'm not even. I, I, I'll listen to somebody, and if everything is made up, if they jamming, it just got to sound. You got to hear. They right. got to jam. It ain't jamming. Many like dudes that. be offbeat. Purposely, like I ain't gonna say that. They, they, like, they, they, that's purposeful. <laughs> it's all purpose. <laughs> they need to stop being offbeat. Hey, they, they, not, they, they cussing a lot because they can't. They don't know how else to use their words. Not everybody you is an artist. People become artists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The process, like you know, like you said, some people come up and they get a hit, and then they get developed. They get uh, found by somebody that really wants to believe in them and this that and that. But R- not everybody R&B, is an artist. R and B is not there right now because people started cursing in places that don't need curse words. <laughs> right, but. As far as female artists uh, down here in uh, Houston, is there any female artists that's banging that's, that that you you got that y'all see that y'all feel like go in? For sure, I know. I, I, I like know Ken, two. I top. like Ken the Man though. Ken, Ken the like Man. Ken. Ken the Man. We talking rap. Ken the Man for sure. Lyric. Uh, yeah. Lyric Jolie. She go crazy. Okay. Sunny the rapper go crazy. We talking R and B. Um, Laricia from my camp from Buy Money. She's going crazy. Uh, Lily Aviana. Yeah. Spanish shorty, she goes crazy. There's a lot of them. Well, Be honey. They, do they got some shows like that they do like in, in Houston? Like you can go out and watch them perform like on on a on a on a good Thursday they, or Friday night. They got a good um, function that goes on probably like at House of Blues every now and then. Um, I, I believe there's a brother named Keith Jacobs. He comes out does something for like the R and B community. Uh, he brings out a whole bunch of different artists, a little bit more than what I just named. Who the hardest comedian down here? The hardest comedian to me, like at all, at all. Of them. I, I still, I still give it to Ali. Oh yeah, I, I give it to Ali. You know, Bubba Dub the move down here. When I get, I, I give, <laughs> I give it to Ali, and then uh, yeah, I give it to Ali. Yeah, what about you? I'm not paying too much attention. You ain't watching no comedians. I'm you gotta be well around. Did you got well around it? I just don't be out there. Don't be. Yeah, to to me, Ali, and then, and then um, Dave Lawson. You know, so, okay, but but but. They they the older generation, but they but, got they got shows going on like all the time too. So do they got a comedy show like no. deal where you can go and like see some stand up and people can get you know down in ATL they got the Atlanta comedy show right. I go yeah, down there. Yeah. Like do we have some down in Houston like that? I know we don't in Dallas. I don't think. I uh, think they have comedy nights at some places, but I'm not I'm not really really. Yeah. You know where a person can go in there and try yeah. their luck. They, they probably do. Yeah. If that's your crowd, you'll find it for sure. Yeah. I need that's to, just how I that need, works out. I need, to go, I need to go in there. You trying to do something? Yeah, I do a little. What? Something. You, trying, you trying to get into a new crowd, Steve? We need to get into Steve. Steve, over to go in there and act bad. Like they gonna be like, damn, that nigga Dave Chappelle. I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I'm really hilarious. <laughs> and, and, and you, you, you know, we got skits out. Yeah, yeah. No. Got, yeah, we got some skits that we yeah. did with Slapwoods. Yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Man, I got it. Where y'all, where y'all putting them at? They, they, they was on Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah, I got to check that out. I ain't seen not a one. I'm going to check yeah, that out. I'm top tapping in. Yeah. Because you know, that. I did some too. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Mine is on YouTube, though. It's on, uh, I got a, a, a channel called Boss Talk 101 Prime Time. Okay. But we got like 38,000 subscribers. I'm over there. All right. Well, uh, you can, you can see me over there uh, uh, with my I, acting I mean, skills. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And for Boss Talk 101, how many subscribers you got right now? 105,000. Okay. Yeah. So we, look, I got the plaque. I just got the plaque in, but I got 5,000 when I got so the plaque. Boss Talk 105. <laughs> I see it right there. there I like you know, that. You Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I want to tell all your subscribers to follow me right now. Hey. At Black Card Steve O. B L A C K C A R D S T E V E O. Man, and I'm going to be the you? same. 9 6 worldwide. The number 9, the number 6 worldwide. Well, you yep. know. 
it was like pulling teeth trying to get y'all on here. You know, y'all want to sit down and kick it and talk. I'm down here because I want to show love to Houston because I love Houston. Yeah. I love Texas. Yeah. I love Dallas, San Antonio, wherever. El Paso. Yeah. You could, you know, I'm a Texas dude. Yeah. So, and the one thing, hey, Port Arthur, wherever, man. Uh, uh, y'all got uh, Bryan College Station. Yeah. Uh, 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 bon what is that? Beaumont. Beaumont. All yeah. that stuff, man. I'm trying to, I want people to see Waco. I went down there and did Waco too. Like, I love this, the state, man, and I want to see us seen for what we are and who we are. So I just appreciate y'all for even coming on and sitting yeah. down with your boy. Like I said, man, I ain't planning on doing no interview. <laughs> <laughs> look, but you told me you was out here. And, you pulled it up. Hey, we been the block for you. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank we, you we, so we was, much. We was actually en route somewhere else, and I was like, man, I just got to pull up. Man, you know I'm glad you did. And I know it wasn't number God because we was just sitting here, me and Chris, think about it. Yeah. We just chilling. Like, yeah. we uh, like we just got through getting, you know, my wife cooked something to eat in here and was like, man, you know, I want I want to do another interview. Uh, is it over? And then you called me. I said, it "Ain't over. <laughs> Not over. It was meant to be." <laughs> so it's thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Always, always. Say, man. If, if, if and we're gonna be checking out. What's that new project coming? Hey, greater days on the greater way. Greater days on the way, yeah, man. Twenty twenty three, man. By Money Entertainment. It's going down, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment. A boss talk one on one. What a boss talk. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>